And there are ebbs and flows. Every season has highs and lows. And so how are you going to you know, weather that storm? It's all about character. You find out a lot about people when things are really hard, you know, and not when things are easy. No matter what, they feel confident in themselves and who we are putting up and who, who is going up, that they feel confident in as well. So it's, it's a long year for them, but at the same time, I feel like they are so ready for this and they're so ready to make a change. It's been difficult at times, but at the same time, it's just so fun to see them change because they are growing and changing. Alicia, here we are approaching the halfway point of the collegiate season. How important is it for not just the coaches, but for the gymnasts to find a rhythm and find some consistency? The beginning of the season is about, you know, getting the rust off and getting back into the groove of competing. Consistency is basically confidence, and you want to do that by going up there in practice and then being consistent. You want to know you're going to hit your routine in the competition, not hope you're going to make your routine in the competition. And one thing we want to look at is how these teams compare and how they're ranked on each of the individual events. We talk about their national ranking overall. 10th and 11th respectively but you can see a couple of the events jump out 23rd for Georgia on beam 19th and 29th for Arkansas on bars and floor respectively how important is it that they kind of even out those rankings those are areas of concern for sure but that can also be impacted by injuries by just lineup changes and finding the right fit for each team so it's about finding how you're going to fit on the gym and utilizing that in competitions as well Kind of break it down for us a little bit for the people at home. What is consistency? What are we talking about? NCAA gymnastics, consistency is stuck landings. It's the last thing the judges remember at the end of your routine. It's minimizing errors, falls, missing connections, big balance checks on balance beam. And last but certainly not least is you want your scoring at a home meets and away meets to be building. You don't want a roller coaster effect having highs and lows. You want to be getting up there and then plateauing towards the end of the season with high, high team scores. We'll, we'll see how that plays out the rest of the way. We had a Great first rotation. It is so close. 0 0.075 lead for Georgia after one. Despite those mistakes, we go to the next event. We have 25th ranked vaulter in the country, Lauren Johnson for Georgia. Meanwhile, Jessica Niamzon will lead things off for Arkansas on bars.